Okay, um, second time up. Uh, I first need to tell you, though, that the first one, I ripped the paper with the tape when I was tearing it off, so be careful with your tape. <laughs> Pat it on your pants or something first before you tape it down, because it's strong. Okay, so this is gin washi. This is little pieces in, of stuff in it. It's really hard for you guys to see. Um, this you'll have to look in the scan on the website. I don't know. Can you forget it? It's hard to see Because it's all fibery. Oh There that you can totally see it there huh. So cool Paper is exciting to me Okay, I'm showing my art geek And I'm okay with that so, once again, going to do some um, Burnt Sienna and French Ultramarine. It's not the funnest color mix by any means, but it granulates, um, which is something I wanted to see uh, what would happen on the rice paper. I wanted to see what granulation would do on rice paper. Okay, this is weird. The fibers I can actually feel as I brush over them. And this paper is very absorbent. It's going right through. It's it's not melting or anything, but honestly, it, it's, it's certainly, like the other one felt like it was almost sized, like it was, it had a surface that you could paint on. This is absorbing right in, and you can see around the edges where it's um, following the, the fibers, and I, I can't really control it on a wash like I, I would the other the other one the Kozuki this is Jin Washi Wow you can totally see like there's no control and no control has its own place right we all know about that yes okay gives me an idea for how that works definitely won't be using that to do any illustrations on but I mean think about this too you can experiment on the papers um, and get a whole bunch of textures going and use them um, scan them in and use them as backdrops and backgrounds and textures and stuff in Photoshop that's an awesome idea way to go me <laughs> just kidding it's not like it's a new idea okay so acrylics this is full. Ooh, that is not pretty. I have to be honest, this just feels like a mistake. <laughs> like, this just feels like, ah, oh, it's ruined. Like, it, it really does. I have to be honest. I'm not getting any sense of thrill at all. It's just, it's just I've made an error. Okay, so I'm dry brushing on top. See, that's also kind of neat. Ooh, do you see that? I don't know if you can see that on my, my brush, but it's covered. It's pulled up a whole bunch of fibers. Okay, that's not fun. Okay, Jinwa, she's not winning any, any awards for being art paper that you can really, that you can paint acrylics on. Anyway, next. So Copic brush, yeah. I don't know what you could do this. Well, I guess you could print make on this, but it's still spreading. Ooh. Hey, do not like. Ugh. Do not like at all. I'm going to continue whining, by the way. I'm 
I can't wait to be finished with this one. And I have to be honest, this is a disappointment. I th had these great uh, broad plans about what I was going to do with this beautiful gin washi paper. Ooh, you know what? There's another... S Maybe I'm painting on the wrong side. Hmm. I have some edges. Let's turn it over. Oh, rip the paper again. Okay, so this is the other side. This side was really fibrous, and you could feel the fibers and stuff. This side um, is not as much. It's a little bit more like the Kazuki paper. It's smooth. This could be a lesson. <laughs> be careful what side you paint on. There's definitely much more control on this side. I think I was painting on the wrong side. <laughs> no wonder. This feels like a mistake. Because <laughs> it was. Okay. Oh, th see, that's kind of neat. And it's like, I mean, it's going straight through. See what happens with the acrylic. Yes, that is very different. Still not my favorite piece of paper, I'll be honest, but it's better than what was going on before. There's way more control on this side. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a dry brush once again. that's still picking up fibers and ooey. Okay. <laughs> so be careful what side you, you work on. It's still pretty fibrousy. It's a little bit better, but still do not like. Okay, definitely not my favorite. That's gin washi. Be careful about what side you use the paper on. A lesson to be learned. All right. So you can see what happened, how it bleeds right through. This is kind of neat too. So that's another thing that you can do is use the rice paper to paint through onto your watercolor paper. Or use it as a, um, as a mixed media. Um, so anyway, I'll be up, uh, I'll have another one coming up. Okay, see you in a bit.